Like, that shit just sound like you'll call the police on a nigga. Like, it just like, dog. Like, you around this whole smiling like you just real tough and rough. But when those shit is really go down, you calling the fucking law. And you thought this whole gonna give a fuck that you called the law, but you not understanding. She got the same power with the law that you got. You not calling the law on no nigga. You calling the law on another bitch. They ain't gonna do shit to her. If you were calling the law on a nigga, then it'll be something. But see, now you calling the law on a bitch, she just gonna get mad off that shit. She just gonna get mad. And as you seen, she put something real good on your hand right there by the cigarettes because you called the law. Thinking that's gonna get her off your ass and it didn't work. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Man, I tell you what, dog. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am Ayo Canseco, and this is Are You Fucking Serious? Listen. I'm going to say it just like this. Big fan podcast, Ayo Canseco, Feel the Leader Ayo Nation. Uh, are you fucking serious? Look here, dog. Um, what I want to really point out is, I'm going to try to, I'm going I'm to put the picture up of this. N- both these are nothing ass hoes. Nothing ass bitches. Um, everybody involved. The whole that recording everything like that. This bitch is squaring up like a dude. You know what I'm saying? She came with that a fight. It's already understood. Now, what what we got to use our conjecture on is um what they were fighting by. I'm going to say that they were fighting over um the dark-skinned girl wanted to vote, vote Democratic. And the big man let ho. Wanted to give Trump another try, give him another four years, and that's what they were beefing over. It definitely wasn't no, you know, no mojo, you know, it was no K2. Uh, it definitely wasn't no, you know what I'm saying, you know, light skin girl found out that the dark skin, nothing ass bitch was, uh, I, I, don't, I don't like to say light skin because when you say light skin, that kind of make the whole scene kind of attractive in some kind of way. Shit. Don't mind me. I'm just making sure that you know that that PayPal link is always in the description box. 90% of communication is non-verbal. You know that I believe that shit. So, as although I love when you go in the comment section and you say, oh, this is really shit on YouTube. Oh, this fucking shit is a thousand. Keep it real and all that shit like that. I appreciate that shit, but if you really want to support the channel and you really believe the shit you're saying, fuck with the PayPal. Whether it's a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, show support. You know that you donate over $20, you have the option of getting your name or your business shouted out at the beginning of any episode of your choosing. Also, if you want one of the Big Homes AO Nation t-shirts, all you gotta do is go to the PayPal, shoot the $25 on them, come back to the Facebook Messenger or the Instagram, let me know you paid, tell me what size you want, and it should be at your house. After you get your address, but I think that's kind of obvious, I really don't want to say that on this fucking promo. But, you know what I'm saying? It's really simple, whatever like that. But I want you to show support. Like, you know what I'm saying? AO Nation is not about talking. It's about doing. Do the shit, y'all. So we just gonna say a big man, big man, man. Man, man, couldn't have just found out that uh, little Whoopi Goldberg had fucked her old man when she came over there, you know what I'm saying, by her grandma Reggie, something like that. It couldn't have been nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, I guarantee it ain't no nothing ass shit. It's definitely some of high high quality because I'm sure that little Whoopi Goldberg is only working at Circle K because as she's waiting on 
her internship at the local hospital to open up because she's not going to be a CNA. She's going to be a real registered nurse. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Because this is this is an example of these are just, this is an anomaly. This is not all black women. You know what I'm saying? This isn't, this isn't the majority of black women. This ain't some regular shit. This ain't regular. This shit don't happen all the time. But, of course, I'm being sarcastic. My issue, though, dog, is little Whoopi Goldberg, the look, she had a real small look on her face. So you know man-man, you know man-man could beat you the fuck up. You know she can. But for some reason, you and this bitch with two phones and shit like that, you scared and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You did something and you know you was wrong. You know you was wrong. Whatever you did, you probably know what I'm saying, fucked her dirty ass, dusty ass old man up. You said something on social media, which is the new Tuskegee experiment. They gave us social media so that we can have more reasons to kill each other, period, point blank. More reasons to go to jail. More evidence when we go to trial. That's all social media is. So, as she has one phone, I'm sure that was a store phone. Yeah, I remember going this I remember having to go to the gas station and use the store phone. Let me use the store phone. Y'all got a store phone? I use our store phone. You know what I'm saying? Whether you trying to catch up with a nigga or you know what I'm saying? You trying to catch up with a nigga. But bam, here it is. Let's go to post. Man man standing up there finna whoop little Whoopi Goldberg and Whoopi Goldberg just sitting back like it's cool looking down and she got on the phone with the police. That what blow me. It's like so you confident because you think man man is gonna run away when you threaten to call the police. But you went on that police shit when you was whooping how you was whooping. When you was talking that shit, it was all bitch, I'm, I'm about whatever. All that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you were a little, look, like, cause you were ugly bitch. Like, both of y'all on the same shit. The only reason man, man really was brute, like, she was confident like that is because she knew she could whoop you. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like that shit. But even though, little Whoopi, Go, little Whoopi Goldberg, you shouldn't have all that goddamn confidence if you know you're not about that. You whole running around with tasers, uh, that you don't want to use, you run around with mace you don't want to use, and you run around with fire that you don't want to use for real. So, that's just the same thing I'm saying with the police officers. Like, if you not rough and tough without that motherfucking gun, don't be rough and tough with it, man. Like, go ahead and be yourself, because you're going to get put in these situations where you don't know what the fuck to do. This whole car, you slipping, you thought this whole would not come to your job and give you what you needed. But that hoe gave you everything right there by the cigarettes. She gave you everything you needed right there by the fucking cigarettes. Now you're going to go in this bitch and press charges because, of course, you embarrassed like a motherfucker. But this is something you brought on your goddamn self. And it's evidence you brought on yourself because you were smiling and smirking as you calling the law, thinking they're going to save your motherfucking life. And this, what that really let me know is, you ain't, you not, you not no motherfucker who... Is, is a stranger to calling the law. Because, see, you the same bitch who will really talk that duck ass shit to your old man, and then just as soon as he finna give it to you, or you mush your man and do any kind of thing with your old man because he gotta stay with you and shit like that. You know he ain't got no car, you know he ain't got nowhere to stay and shit like that. So you get rough and tough with him at the mouth, and then when he finna really give you something, now you start calling the law. And you thinking you can just get a nigga all the way up to that tip because you gonna call white daddy on, you know what I'm saying, on the man. After he put hands on you, but what you hoes keep forgetting is, the white man gonna have to get here after I put this, you know what I'm saying, what I'm gonna put on your ass. Because I'm gonna put something real serious on your motherfucking ass. And he gonna have to come afterwards, and then you gonna, know what I'm saying, come and try to fuck a nigga life up. See, you hoes ain't shit, dog. You hoes ain't shit. Like, this is how all you hoes act. You, like, you'll get a nigga up to that month. And see, this is the thing. This same look, ugly little Whoopi Goldberg looking bitch will be the same hoe that will explain herself on social media like, let's say six months later. You know what I'm saying? This hoe will be on social media to some, I can't stand weak hoes. I can't stand a nothing there, bitch. If you ain't all the way about that shit, you can't fuck with me. If you ain't a honey, you can't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Only real bitches allowed. Like with that whooping shit, like, hold up, bitch. And see, that's what we got hating confused. Cause look, look, ho, don't come on social media with all that goddamn whooping when you were just on that bitch. Call the police. Call the police. That's just so much faggot shit. Like, you 
nothing ass bitch. Like that shit just sound like you'll call the police on a nigga. Like it just like dog. Like you around this whole smiling like you just real tough and rough. But when those shit is really going down, you calling the fucking law. And you thought this hoe was gonna give a fuck that you called the law, but you not understanding. She got the same power with the law that you got. You not calling the law on no nigga. You calling the law on another bitch. They ain't finna do shit to her. If you were calling the law on a nigga, then it'll be something. But see, now you calling the law on a bitch, she just gonna get mad off that shit. She just gonna get mad. And as you seen, she put some real good on your hand right there by the cigarette because you called the law. Thinking that's gonna get her off your ass and it didn't work. Bitch, you did something to this motherfucker and you were whooping all the way till she got up that bitch. Then when it came down to it, you want to call the fucking law. Stop fucking flexing. You all need to stop flexing. If you're not with it, you're not with it. Nothing ass, bitch. Big fat podcast. Ayo Paseco, y'all make sure you hit that PayPal. Love.